Every year, billions of birds embark on incredible journeys across our skies and negotiate innumerable threats. One of the largest and least recognized is collisions with power lines, which take the lives of an estimated 175 million birds a year in the United States and a billion globally. These collisions don't just impact our avian friends, they can disrupt power for communities and even ignite wildfires. When birds collide with power lines and fall through them, they can short the electrical phases, causing outages. In some cases, these collision electrocutions can lead to wildfires. But why do birds, masters of the skies, collide with power lines? Can we prevent these tragedies and enhance grid reliability and safety? Bird collisions are largely influenced by birds' unique visual perception. Unlike birds, humans have a somewhat narrow forward field of vision with good visual acuity, and nearly all of it is covered by both eyes. We have a sense of going forward toward objects, and our focus is out in front of us. In contrast, most birds have eyes on the side of their heads, which give them a nearly panoramic field of view. Their binocular field of view which they use to help judge the time to impact an obstacle in front of them, is generally only between 20 and 40 degrees. Whereas humans have an approximately 120 degree binocular field, geese only have 22 degrees, and ducks only have a 10 degree binocular field. If an object isn't within this small area, they may not perceive it in time to avoid a collision. Because of their eye placement, their highest visual acuity is directly to the side with a diminishing ability to see objects in front and behind them. Their visual acuity varies widely with species, but is generally poorer than ours. For instance, humans can see the same object eight times further away than geese and 16 times further away than sparrows. Finally, an animal's visual acuity changes drastically with light level. While owls evolved to fly in low light levels, most birds did not. For instance, at night, doves completely lose the ability to resolve almost any object when humans still have about half of our visual acuity. Distractions like flying in formation with other birds or searching for predators or prey may further attenuate their focus on what's directly in front. In combination, these factors make it far more difficult for birds to spot power lines. The ability for birds to avoid an obstacle once they see it depends on the bird's flight speed and maneuverability. Some birds, such as many songbirds, are extremely maneuverable and fly at lower speeds. Thus, they can more easily make a correction at a close distance to an obstacle. Birds with higher flight speeds and lower maneuverability, including ducks, geese, and swans, take more distance to change course. The result is that birds with poorer vision, greater flight speeds, and worse maneuverability tend to collide more. For some species, it's a risk to their survival. For instance, power line collisions are the primary cause of death for Hawaiian petrels and Newell shearwaters. Power lines are ubiquitous, and while collisions can occur anywhere, they often go unnoticed when carcasses fall into water or when scavengers quickly carry them away. Power lines which cross diurnal or seasonal flight paths pose higher risks. Specific areas can include migration corridors, feeding and roosting sites, wetlands and water bodies, and valleys and canyons. Addressing bird collisions with power lines requires solutions that are effective and practical. Undergrounding power lines eliminates collision risks entirely. However, this method is often cost prohibitive and impractical especially over long distances or challenging terrains. Rerouting lines away from high-risk areas, including bodies of water, can reduce collisions. This approach, while effective, demands careful planning and substantial investment. Bird diverters make power lines more visible to birds. They are cost-effective, easy to install, and can reduce collisions by 70 to 90%. The key to an effective bird diverter starts with size. To ensure birds can see them in time to react, diverters must be large enough so that they can see them at a distance that allows them enough time to maneuver and avoid a collision. For instance, a swan or goose likely wouldn't see a spiral-type diverter at dusk until around 6 feet. They could see smaller flapper-type diverters at around 17 feet. Larger diverters, like the feather fender, 
can be seen at around 30 feet, providing sufficient time for birds to avoid collision. Birds must be able to see the diverter at the times of day when they collide. High contrast, particularly black and white, is most effective at dawn and dusk when colors are attenuated and collisions are most likely to occur. Moreover, these black and white patterns stand out against different backgrounds over the seasons as vegetation and snow ice cover changes. Movement catches the eye. Diverters that move create a flickering effect, naturally attracting birds' attention. Bird diverters should be placed so that at least one diverter is within a bird's binocular field of view at the distance that it spots the line. Larger bird diverters thus allow for a wider spacing since they are seen at greater distances. For larger diverters and species with narrow binocular fields, like ducks about 10 degrees, diverters may need to be spaced as closely as every 15 feet. For geese, this distance is just over 35 feet. It's not recommended to put diverters further apart than 50 feet, regardless of the target bird's visual acuity, as the bird may not think there is anything between diverters placed at wide distances. The optimal placement of bird diverters depends on the specific power line configuration. On transmission lines, thin wires known as shield wires, which sit above the thicker phase conductors, are hard for birds to detect. Marking the shield wire is crucial since birds may climb over the visible phase wires and then collide with these less visible wires. For lines with horizontally configured phases, marking the outer conductors can deter birds from the entire line set. This strategy can reduce the need to mark every single wire. Meet the Feather Fender Bird Diverter a solution that embodies all these effective design principles. The feather fender features high contrast patterns specifically optimized for bird vision, increasing visibility even in low light conditions. Its design causes it to oscillate in the wind, creating movement that naturally draws birds' attention. Available with reflective surfaces or phosphorescent materials, the feather fender remains visible day and night in all weather conditions. Built with rugged, UL-rated components, it's designed to withstand extreme temperatures, UV exposure, and harsh weather, ensuring long-term effectiveness. Perhaps one of its most innovative features is its drone deployability. Feather fender diverters can be installed using drones, allowing for safe, efficient installation in hard-to-reach areas like wetlands, tight canyons, or remote locations. By making power lines more visible, we're not just saving birds, we're enhancing power reliability, preventing outages, and reducing wildfire risks. It's a holistic approach that benefits wildlife, utilities, and communities alike. A safer sky for birds means a safer, more reliable world for all of us.